War has always been one of humanity's most intense, brutal, and transformative experiences. But what we often overlook is that beneath the chaos, beneath the fire, smoke, and destruction, lies a world ruled by precision. Every strategy, every machine, every action on the battlefield is grounded in science. From the arc of a bullet slicing through the air, to the invisibility of stealth aircraft evading detection, to the psychological responses triggered by mortal danger, War is as much a domain of laboratories and physics equations as it is of soldiers and generals. In this extended journey, we will explore the deeply woven connections between warfare and science, unveiling how knowledge and engineering are the real weapons of modern combat. This is the complete science of war. To an untrained eye, a fired bullet appears to fly in a straight line, fast, deadly, and direct. But in reality, a bullet's path is anything but simple. The instant it exits the barrel, it begins to drop due to gravity. Air resistance slows it down. Side winds push it off course. Humidity, air density, even altitude all subtly shift its trajectory. Snipers must consider these factors and more, including spin drift and the Coriolis effect, which slightly curves the bullet due to Earth's rotation. At ranges over 1,000 meters, the tiniest miscalculation can mean a miss. Professional snipers use ballistic calculators, wind gauges, range finders, and real-time field data to solve this complex physics puzzle. Accuracy isn't just skill, it's science, math, and mastery of the environment. Protecting soldiers from incoming fire has evolved dramatically thanks to breakthroughs in material science. Traditional steel armor gave way to lightweight, flexible alternatives like Kevlar, which can absorb and redistribute the force of high-velocity impacts. These synthetic fibers are woven tightly into layers that deform around bullets, slowing them down and preventing penetration. But advanced body armor doesn't stop there. Hard armor systems integrate ceramic stripe plates that break bullets apart on impact, dispersing the energy into safer fragments. High molecular weight polyethylene adds further protection while maintaining maneuverability. Even experimental materials like shear thickening fluids are being tested to create liquid armor that instantly solidifies on impact. This isn't just about defense. It's about merging biology, chemistry, and physics into a life-saving technology that turns kinetic destruction into survivable pressure. A hand grenade is a marvel of compact lethality, engineered for efficiency. Contrary to the cinematic myth of flaming balls of fire, real grenades rely on physics and shrapnel, not spectacle. The moment the pin is pulled and the safety lever is released, a delay fuse ignites, allowing the thrower time to toss the device. When it detonates, a small but intense chemical explosion occurs, violently bursting the metal casing into hundreds of sharp, high-speed fragments. These deadly shards radiate outward, causing severe injuries over a wide area. In addition, the rapid expansion of gases generates a concussive shockwave that can damage internal organs or cause disorientation. Military engineers calculate fragment velocity, density, and radius to maximize battlefield effectiveness while minimizing unnecessary collateral damage. A grenade isn't just a weapon. It's a tool shaped by precision explosive dynamics. Tanks are the armored titans of modern warfare, rolling fortresses designed to survive the harshest battlefield environments. But their effectiveness comes from far more than just thick armor and big guns. The entire tank is a triumph of engineering. Tracks replace wheels because they spread the tank's massive weight over a larger surface area, preventing it from sinking into soft terrain like mud or sand. The armor itself is not flat, but sloped, which increases its effective thickness and causes incoming projectiles to deflect rather than penetrate. The interior is stabilized using gyroscopic systems and advanced targeting computers, allowing the gun to stay locked on target even while the tank is in motion. Inside, Shock absorption systems protect crew members from concussive force. Modern tanks incorporate composite materials, reactive armor, and active protection systems that can detect and neutralize incoming missiles. These v helicopters don't fly like airplanes. They generate lift through the rotation of massive blades that slice through the air like wings spinning in a circle. These rotor blades force air downward, creating upward thrust but keeping a helicopter airborne requires tremendous energy. Hovering is especially inefficient. It demands constant, maximum engine output. In forward motion, helicopters benefit from translational lift, where airspeed increases efficiency. 
easing the strain on engines. Yet even this flight is delicate. Pilots must counteract torque from the main rotor using the tail rotor, keeping the aircraft stable. When an engine fails, helicopters don't plummet. Instead, pilots rely on autorotation. The blades continue spinning using airflow as the helicopter descends, allowing for a controlled emergency landing. Every movement, every maneuver, is a ballet of physics in motion, managed by trained pilots who master aerodynamics in real time. In darkness, human vision fails, but with the right equipment, the night comes alive. Night vision technology leverages light amplification and thermal detection to restore visibility when none seems possible. Traditional night vision uses image intensification. Ambient light, such as starlight or inferred from moon reflections, enters the device and hits a photocathode, releasing electrons. These electrons are multiplied thousands of times before striking a phosphor screen, creating the classic glowing green image. Thermal imaging operates differently, detecting infrared radiation emitted by warm bodies, engines, or recently used weapons. These thermal signatures are visible even through fog, smoke, or total darkness. By merging multiple spectrums of light, modern soldiers can move, detect enemies, and aim weapons with surgical accuracy in environments that once concealed everything. Night vision isn't just about seeing, it's about total visual dominance. To avoid detection in combat, soldiers must vanish, not by turning invisible, but by fooling the eye and sensor alike. Camouflage design is rooted in biology and optical psychology. Nature perfected the art of concealment long ago, from zebras confusing predators with stripes to octopuses that alter their skin texture and color. Militaries have borrowed this playbook. Camouflage patterns are tailored to break up outlines, mimic local environments, and confuse visual processing. Urban combat demands grays and sharp angles. Juggles call for irregular greens and browns, but modern threats go beyond vision. Thermal imaging and radar require advanced camouflage solutions. Some uniforms and vehicle skins incorporate heat dispersing materials that mask body temperature or disrupt infrared signatures. Experimental research explores materials that adapt dynamically to surroundings, blending in like a digital chameleon. Camouflage has evolved into a multi-spectral defense system where survival hinges on disappearing across all wavelengths. High-speed dogfights in modern jets aren't just a test of technology. They push human biology to its limits. At speeds approaching Mach 2, pilots experience extreme acceleration, known as G-forces. Every additional G multiplies the body's weight. At 9G, a 70 kilograms pilot feels like 630 kilograms. Blood is pulled from the brain to the lower body, threatening unconsciousness. To counter this, pilots wear G-suits equipped with inflatable air bladders that squeeze their legs and abdomen, keeping blood where it's needed most. But the suit alone isn't enough. Pilots are trained in the anti-G straining maneuver, tensing muscles and breathing rhythmically to maintain consciousness. Jet cockpits are also ergonomically designed to reduce strain. The body becomes an integrated part of the aircraft, with technology and biology locked in a delicate partnership. To survive high-G flight is to understand how physics shapes flesh. The ultimate weapon is the one you never see. Stealth technology transforms aircraft into invisible predators by exploiting the science of wave reflection and absorption. Radar works by sending radio waves that bounce off objects and return to the source. Stealth aircraft are built with faceted surfaces that scatter radar waves away, never reflecting them back. Radar absorbent materials further reduce visibility by soaking up incoming waves. Engine heat is hidden inside the fuselage or directed upward to mask infrared emissions. Every detail, from the angle of the wing to the shape of the air intake, is modeled using simulations to minimize detection. This technology isn't just about design. It's about understanding how electromagnetic energy interacts with matter. Stealth is physics weaponized into invisibility. Submarines navigate the most unforgiving environment on Earth, the deep sea. At hundreds of meters below the surface, pressure rises to crushing levels, requiring hulls built from specialized ultra-strong materials like Hatch High 80 steel or titanium. The sub's buoyancy is controlled by ballast tanks that take in or expel seawater. Silent movement is essential. Every noise, an engine hum, a metal clang, can give away a sub's position to enemy sonar. To remain undetected, submarines use rubberized acoustic dampeners, 
quiet electric motors and deploy sonar sparingly. They glide like ghosts, listening more than speaking. Submarines are the ultimate fusion of hydrodynamics, material science, and stealth engineering, where life depends on silence and pressure resistance. Blowing something up with precision is more difficult than it sounds. Modern militaries use shape charges, explosives designed to channel their force in a specific direction. By shaping the explosive cone and inserting a metallic liner, engineers can create a jet of superheated metal that cuts through armor like butter. These charges are used in anti-tank missiles, bunker-busting bombs, and breaching doors. The angle, composition, and even the distance from the target are all calculated using explosive dynamics equations. Instead of a chaotic blast, you get directed, optimized energy. Destruction becomes surgical. When bullets fly and lives are on the line, the human body unleashes a cascade of ancient survival mechanisms. The amygdala triggers the fight-or-flight response, flooding the bloodstream with adrenaline and cortisol. The heart races, pupils dilate, time seems to slow, vision narrows, known as tunnel vision, and fine motor skills degrade. Soldiers must train to operate through this chaos. Mental conditioning, repetition, and stress inoculation prepare the brain to function under threat. Combat isn't just a test of weapons, it's a test of the nervous system. Understanding how biology responds to violence is crucial to modern military psychology and training. War may seem like a purely destructive force, but at its heart, it's a showcase of science in its rawest, most applied form. Physics determines trajectory. Engineering defines survival. Biology shapes endurance. From bullets to body armor, tanks to thermal vision, stealth bombers to psychological resilience, the battlefield is a living laboratory of human ingenuity. If this deep dive opened your eyes, share it with others who love learning about science, technology, and strategy. Like and subscribe for more documentaries that explore the hidden mechanics of our world. This is the science of war, where every shot, every step, every breath is engineered.